are just not as into pageants, maybe, as they once were. We want to know what you think about this. Last year's Miss Universe pageant brought in its second lowest ratings ever with the change in conversation about women's Me Too rights, Me Too movement. And it seems to appeal to other people, maybe. They just aren't watching. We don't know. Lots to talk about. The, this year, the organization is hoping to refresh things up, maybe to bring in all women. That is their decision. Every single judge on the panel will be female. Entrepreneurs, we're talking about business leaders, including a fashion designer and CEO and a UN Goodwill ambassador. So is this a good move? Will it make people want to watch? I want to bring in Chuck Nice and Marshawn Evans-Daniels as well with me. Chuck is the host of the podcast, Not So Nice Advice. Marshawn is an author and a former Miss America finalist. Good to see you both. Thanks for having us. So, Thanks Marshawn, I'm going to start with you on this. You were a runner-up. Mm -hmm. You know a lot about pageants. Yes. You know the ins and outs. What do you think of an all-female panel of judges? Well, first I'll say my experience comes through the Miss America program, which is different than Miss USA, mm -hmm. which feeds into Miss Universe. And there is somewhat of a rivalry between the two. But what I will say is that I believe that pageants are extremely relevant. It's an opportunity for a woman to grow her confidence, her sense of expression, and also for her to find her voice. I got over $80,000 in scholarship money. Um, I think that the Miss Universe pageant is relevant, and I think they've actually made a really good decision by incorporating such a diverse panel of mm -hmm. women. Um, and I think that it is a very, very good move because it gives us an opportunity to see what women can aspire to, but women mm -hmm. supporting women, choosing women, and a panel of women. It's almost like they're walking into a boardroom full of women who are going to hire the right woman for the job. If they ask you to be on the panel, would you? I absolutely would. I like to make choices. I like to be <laughs> right, to influence, maker. right, absolutely. to influence. Chuck, I want your take on this. Uh, are you a mm -hmm. fan of the pageant world? Do you watch? Do you think that this is a good move? Uh, no, I don't watch. Uh, do I think it's a good move? Yes, for all the reasons that were just uh, enumerated. I think that pageants are relevant, and I love anything that helps women mm -hmm. uh, gain scholarship money to better themselves. Also, that gives them a platform about issues uh, for which they care, and they want to express uh, to others the importance of whatever issue that they're taking forward as the <clears throat> reigning queen of the pageant. Uh, the, the part of me that likes all of that is like this is a great thing because <laughs> no. women are women are on uh, women are in control of the pageant and the judging. Now the comedian in me yeah. says that pageants just got a lot more difficult because I know a lot of women who are pretty tough on other women. You know, <laughs> just walk walking down the street and they're just like, girl, really, a kitten heel with that dress? I don't think so. So, you but know, I think one of the things that's really important that we're seeing here is this pink wave, right? We've seen it in politics, we've seen it in the entertainment space, and now we're seeing also in the area of women's empowerment where women are saying, I'm gonna disrupt protocol. I'm gonna break tradition. And the fact that they're doing this, I think is, one of the things Miss Universe has always been very good at is owning, owning its themselves. identity. Yeah. They're a pageant, they get that. But what they're doing is they're saying, we're going to break tradition. They're not the only one who are struggling with ratings. The Miss, um, I mean not Miss, but the Victoria's Secret show, mm -hmm. they've been suffering ratings for the last four years. Society right now is trying to figure out what to do with us, so what to you do mentioned, with our So you mentioned the bikinis as a joke, the swimsuit uh, part of this. Which they the took American that out. Which the competition yes. eliminated. And what do you think of that? Well, I, think it's a, I think that was a mistake too. At the end of the day, it's still a competition. Gretchen Carlson, who's a former Miss, former Miss America who also was at Fox News, mm -hmm. um, she said that we weren't going to judge the women based off of looks, but she said that while well, she was wearing lipstick once television so mm -hmm. we're all going to be judging people based off of looks i think what miss universe has done that was wise was to say we're going to own the fact that we are a pageant but we're also going to be more than that and we're going to experiment we're going to try something new again people are trying to figure out what to do with us as women one of the things i talk about in my new work and new book believe bigger is how this is a season where women are finding their voice so this isn't just a women's movement this is an awakening of voices the me too movement this pink wave it's happening everywhere and people are going to have to figure out how to embrace us and bring us and i know fold. you know you're talking about you wrote a book on the topic called believe bigger uh, but who is the audience that's watching i remember as a young girl growing up watching with my grandmother um the competition is that still true is it young girls is it a mix you know, the Miss USA pageant and the Miss Universe pageant is really more about entertainment. It's less about scholarship, actually. It's more about for women who want to 
possibly go into modeling or acting and entertainment. And I think that there's a room, room for that in, a, in, in the world where we don't always have to be so serious and that we can showcase different styles of what feminine beauty is all about. I do believe, and um, Ashley Graham is someone who we've been able to work with in one mm -hmm. of our business coaching programs before. She and Steve Harvey are co-hosts for the pageant. Mm. And what I love about Ashley is that she has embraced her voice to be an advocate for body confidence for mm -hmm. women. I do think we need to broaden the scope of what beauty means in terms mm -hmm. of sizes, shapes, and colors. I remember, I was told that I needed to bleach my elbows and my knees because they were dark. Or even, you know, I'm mm -hmm. a size two that I, my, my hips were too big because I'm an African-American woman. I may not have a big donk, but I have a little bump. <laughs> Bizarre that they would be that critical. That's oh, absolutely. So I think that there is still um, a season right now of embracing more than what we consider the traditional notions of beauty. Mm -hmm. But I do think that it's still relevant for women to find their voice, to find their passion, and to mm -hmm. find their path in life. And again, I'm going to get your book. It's called Belief Bigger. Chuck, I wish we had more time. I know you're a funny guy. Uh, we'll check back with you soon to talk about other topics. Chuck, Thank you.